So then 2003 rolls around and BMF essentially explodes. Uh, Atlanta becomes kind of like the hub. Yeah. You know, for for the drug distribution and Big Meech sets up in Atlanta and it's, I mean, it basically becomes, it's crazy. You know, like right around 2004, um, which was, you know, right around the time that BMF flew me out as a DJ, as <laughs> DJ Vlad to just go party with them because they're yeah. trying to launch their label. And I'm looking around and it's like, it's like nothing I've ever seen. There was billboards that say the world is BMFs. Um, you know, there's parties with BMF ice sculptures, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and they're giving out Cristal bottles like they're flyers. Like that was the first time I got to drink Cristal. And, you know, and I think things were going well, but right around that time, that's when uh, Wolf, you know, who was Puffy's bodyguard, ends up getting into it with Meech in Atlanta mm-hmm. over a girl, over a stripper. And they go outside, a shootout happens. And Wolf and Rizzo gets killed. Um, Meech gets shot. Um, and I remember that's when I was there because Meech was on house arrest. You know, he had the ankle monitor on. I was at Meech's house, you know, with his mom. They were cooking dinner and everyone was hanging out. Um, and everyone had free Meech shirts on and so forth. You know, ultimately the charges were dropped against BMF. But I felt like that was the moment when it was all on the radar. Suddenly you know, everyone's looking at the situation because now there's two bodies. Was that a turning point in BMF from your point of view? I think so. I think so, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, because you, you have two bodies now, you know. And I think when you think of mafias, you think of, I was just watching Goodfellas and all of them the other day. And you see all the killings and everything that's going on in it. And... Me and T always said that as long as, you know, you don't start killing people and doing all that, we are, we probably get a long way. But when you start bringing all the killings in and that's when the radar, I mean, what are you going to do? It does. bring, And you have these two high-profile people that got killed that day, which was very unfortunate. I don't, you know, I knew the young lady who they got into it with, and I don't, I wouldn't say she was a stripper, I, you know, I don't, and I think Wolf was really in love with that, with her. We all just had a trip together overseas. We were all Americanish, And so, you know, um, he was in his feelings about that. that was his girl. And that's why I think men should speak up and say, you know, when that's your girl, say that's your girl, you know? So other people would know that's off limits. And whatever it is, I think that they should have knew that that was off limits. And and you got a lot of emotions in it. You got drugs in it. You got alcohol. And it just, you know, got, I mean, unfortunately that happened. And at the end of the day, I thought we all were friends, you know. It was a sad, sad yeah. situation. Very sad. Oh, yeah, no, I had heard from people that were there that they they were begging Wolf, like, to just, hey, just chill out. It's not a big deal. Like, this is, you know, just come in, have a drink. It's not worth escalating. Like, they didn't want to get into it with him like no. that. But then I think, like, when they went outside, he was, like, sitting on one of their cars, and they, he pulled out on them and started shooting at them first, and they returned fire, and then, yeah. you know, Very emotional. You, know, you end up with two people dead. 